And I was upstairs in the room, and Steve, my little, he's like my little adopted son, he came up and he said, Miss Aretha is down in the lobby. Gladys Knight is an American singer, songwriter, actress, and businesswoman. A seven-time Grammy Award winner, Knight recorded hits through the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s with her family group Gladys Knight and the Pips, which included her brother, Merrill Bubba Knight, and cousins William Gesh and Edward Patton. She's inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Vocal Group Hall of Fame along with the Pips. Two of her songs, I Heard It Through the Grapevine and Midnight Train to Georgia, were inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame for historical, artistic, and significant value. Rolling Stone magazine ranked Knight among the 100 greatest singers of all time. I mean, I started telling her, you could come up here. I mean, that's the way sisters are, you know. A real thing, not something you put on with people, you know. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button, as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Her full name is Gladys Maria Knight, but she's also known as the Empress of Soul. She was born May 28, 1944 in Atlanta, Georgia, making her 78 at the time of this production. She stands at 1.613 meters or 5 feet 3 inches tall. For many years, she used to watch The Hour of Power, which featured Robert H. Schuller. Her favorite color is white. Knight's an avid reader and has said that she enjoys reading books that inspire and uplift her. She's also fond of reading self-help and motivational books. In 1996, Gladys Knight and the Pips were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. One year before, Knight had received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Gladys Knight's a devout Christian and has said that her faith is an important part of her life. She's also been active in her church and has said that her faith helps her to stay grounded and to find peace in her life. Gladys Knight is a philanthropist who's been involved in various charitable causes throughout her career. She's been a vocal advocate for various charitable organizations, including the American Cancer Society and the United Negro College Fund. In 2017, Knight helped raise $400,000 for the Children's Learning Centers of Fairfield County. The event was held at the Palace Theater and was co-hosted by Carol Ann Riddell and Alan Coulter. Knight has always been interested in dancing, and she appeared as a contestant on the reality show Dancing with the Stars in 2011. She said that dancing is a great way to stay in shape and that it's a fun way to express yourself. She's friends with George Wallace, Diana Ross, Dionne Warwick, Luther Vandross, and Stevie Wonder. Knight's been married four times and has three children. At 16 years old, she became pregnant and married Atlanta musician and classmate James Jimmy Newman in 1960. She had a miscarriage. The couple went on to have two children. Newman became a drug addict and abandoned the family when Knight was 20. They remained married for over 12 years until 1973. In 1974, Knight married Barry Hankerson. The couple had one son, Shanga Ali Hankerson, born August 1, 1976. Their marriage ended in 1979 with a prolonged custody battle over their son. In 1995, Knight married motivational speaker Les Brown, but they separated and divorced in 1997. Knight married William McDowell in 2001. They have 17 grandchildren and 10 great-grandchildren between them that you know and I understood it because I was I was diagnosed as well you know and I've been very blessed to have it under control she's the second child of Merrill Woodlow Knight senior a postal worker and Sarah Elizabeth Knight a domestic worker she was raised in a musical family her mother played piano and her father sang in a local choir she began singing at the age of four and at the age of seven she formed a singing group with her brother Merrill sister Brenda, and cousins Eleanor and William Guest called The Pips, who performed at local events. At the age of eight, she won the first prize in an amateur talent competition in Atlanta's Magnolia Ballroom, where they sang Jambalaya and Night Train. Gladys and The Pips performed regularly at the talent showcase in Atlanta, and after winning it several times, they were noticed by local record producer Johnny Brantley, who signed them to his label, Brantley Hoofer Records. They released their first single, Whistle My Love, in 1958 and Letter Full of Tears in 1959. In 1960, the Pips recorded their first national hit single, Every Beat of My Heart, which reached number six on the R&B charts and number 82 on the pop charts, 
and became the group's first million seller. The group's first album, Miss Gladys Knight and the Pips, was released in 1962. The group released several more albums and singles, with I Heard It Through the Grapevine becoming one of their biggest hits, reaching number two on the pop charts. Through the late 1960s and 1970s, Gladys Knight and the Pips had a string of successful hits such as If I Were Your Woman and Midnight Train to Georgia, which reached number one on the pop charts in 1973. The group also released several successful albums and performed on television shows and tours. Gladys Knight's powerful and soulful voice combined with the smooth harmonies of the Pips made them one of the most popular R&B and soul groups of the era. She also had a successful solo career. And in addition to her music career, Gladys Knight has also acted in films and television shows and is a successful businesswoman. And I don't know, at the end of my show, I was just kind of compelled to sing a song to her and for her. She primarily earned money through acting and singing. She was part of the commercially successful group, The Pips. During her career, she has recorded two number one Billboard Hot 100 singles, 11 number one R&B singles, and six number one R&B albums. She also recorded the theme song for the 1989 James Bond film, License to Kill. Knight created and now directs the Mormon-themed choir, Saints Unified Voices. Knight's son, Jimmy Newman, managed her career through his Newman Management Incorporated until his death from heart failure on July 10, 1999, at age 36. Knight's son, Shanga Hankerson, owns a chain of chicken and waffle restaurants based in Atlanta, bearing her name. Gladys Knight and Ron Winans Chicken and Waffles currently have three locations in the Atlanta area. One location was featured on the Travel Channel original series, Man vs. Food. She has a net worth of $28 million. In the early 1960s, Gladys moved to Detroit. Knight and her family lived on Sherbourne Road in Sherwood Forest, an upscale neighborhood on Detroit's west side. She also resided on LaSalle Avenue for a time. After living exclusively in the Las Vegas area for several years, in August of 2007, Knight purchased a mountain retreat in the state of North Carolina. Located in the small town of Fairview, which is near Asheville, the Empress of Souls colonial-style home has 3,918 square feet and includes four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and three fireplaces, and is set on 20 acres, which includes a large man-made pond with a gazebo near the entrance of the property. Gladys Knight still owns a home in Henderson, Nevada, which she purchased in early 1999. She previously owned a house in Las Vegas, the home, which was built in 1971, was acquired by Knight in 1997 for $695,000. It's situated on a half acre and measures more than 6,500 square feet. It has six bedrooms and four baths. She owns the following cars, a Mercedes-Benz, Soul, a Range Rover. a Porsche 911. An Audi R8. Rolls-Royce.